This is the book of Psalm chapter 119, verse 54, and I'll read to 56 in both the KJV and NLT versions. And it reads, thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. Verse 55, I have remembered thy name, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, in the night, and have kept thy law. We're in the night. We're in the, 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 the night, the twilight of Esau Edom's kingdom and the beginning of our kingdom. Okay, because a new day begins at even ending of Esau's day and the beginning of the day of Israel, Jacob. All right, beginning with that morning star, Yahweh Shai, who have shined in our hearts. Verse 56, this I had because I kept thy precepts. Mm. Now let's read 55 and 56 NLT. I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai. Therefore, I obey your instructions. Because we're like those wise virgins that woke up in the midst of the night, couldn't really see anything, but trimmed our lamps. We prepared for the coming of the Lord, our bridegroom. Okay? Go forth to meet him. That's all we heard. And all we're doing is preparing ourselves to meet the Lord. Okay. Verse 56. This is how I spend my life. Obeying your commandments. And with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in whom the world has originally called Jehovah. Or Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so that taught me and brothers like me this truth. His beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now, these are the two most important things you will ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. They're true and proper names. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawa. Yah, meaning he. Hawa, meaning exists or is, or is to be, he is, he exists, he the existing one. And in order to please him, you must have faith. Hmm. Things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith, because we know that he who is pleased with faith is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now the name of his only begotten son a name above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first and also to the believers to call upon and be saved. The name Yahawashai, Yah, meaning he, Hawashai, meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what he's going to come and do for the second time in physical form as an angelic force. For he has already saved us from ourselves, from death and sin. And through the truth will we made free, broken the yoke and the shackles and bondage. And we are free in Mashiach. Okay? So, A, hey, the Lord has become our song. His ways have become our song in the house of our pilgrimage. We're just passing through. We're going to enter into, into that kingdom. And we have to follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. And also we hear the shepherd's voice and not another. We're following our shepherd into a glorious kingdom. Okay. So without further ado, let's go right here. Isaiah 30 and 20. 
9, 28 is going into that MOTB being pushed and having the people be led to ruin. But this is where we are as the hopeful elect. Isaiah 30 and 29. Ye shall have a song as in the night or in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart as when one goeth with a pipe to come into the mountain, the government of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shai to the mighty one of Israel. Man, the Lord's will not call this lesson. The justice of Yahweh. All right, the justice of God, the justice of our power. Okay? Because there's many things that the Lord is going to do to give us justice, the destruction of Babylon the Great, the second death, the destruction of the wicked and the ungodly, the saving of the just and the righteous. But I'm going to go through the book of Psalm 73 in my book here that I have. So that's why I have this visual here and I'm going to read these scriptures in the blue letter. And after that, I'm going to get into this Psalm 73, read it because it is a song and then close out. The Lord's willingness is edifying, building you up. Yeah, you know, as the Apostle Rakas says, get into these Psalms. You can use them as prayers and also just reading them out. It gives our people hope. So without further ado. All right. Let no man take thy crown. It says in the NLT, Isaiah 30 and 29, but the people of Yahweh. Bashim al Shah will sing a song of joy. We're singing a new song. Like the songs at the holy festivals, you will be filled with joy as when the, when the flutist leads a group of pilgrims to Jerusalem. The mountain or government of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al Shah, to the rock of Israel. All right. Let no man take thy crown. And here we go. Revelation 3 and 11. We're fighting. Keep fighting, Akim. Fight. 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 It's Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. This word. The promises. The truth. Uh, having tasted the, the power of the world to come. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. NLT. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take away your crown. Now let's get that. Those words. The word for. Take. And that's it. No man. Take. Take. And the word there for take is lambano. G2983, lambano. It says to take, to take with the hand, lay hold of any person or thing in order to use it. To take up a thing, to be carried, to take upon oneself, to take in order to carry away with the notion of violence, to remove, take away. As this man is going to come down having great wrath, Knowing that he had but a short time, but we're going to hold fast on what we have because the Lord is coming quick. The Lord is with us in the situation. And when this man shall come in as a flood, when the enemy shall come in as a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So without further ado, let's go to the book of Psalm 72. And I'm going to read it in my book which is a modern uh, translation of it. And I'll read it from the top. Bear with me, brothers. Let me get my book. Okay. I have my book. <clears throat> my book right here. And this is the book of Psalm 73. We'll start at verse 1, and it reads, Yahweh is indeed good to Israel, to those who have pure hearts, pure minds. Verse 2. But I had nearly lost confidence, which means to be with faith. My faith was almost gone because I was jealous of the proud. Verse three, because 
I was jealous of the proud when I saw that things go well for the wicked, it would seem. Verse 4. I do, Salaki says, they do not suffer pain. They are strong and healthy. Verse 5. They do not suffer as other people do. Esau, Edom, self proclaimed white men, his people. But now they're going to suffer. Now they're suffering. But at a time they didn't. But the Lord had it, had everything in plan for what he was going to do to the wicked. So they do not suffer as other people do. They do not have the troubles that others have. See, other nations have certain troubles, uh, uh, certain uh, faults and undertakings. But Esau Edom does not. And he has not had that for a time. Verse six. And so. They were proud like a necklace of Selaki. And so they wear pride like a necklace and violence like a robe. Their hearts, their minds pour out evil and their minds are busy with wicked schemes. That's Esau Edom. Verse 8. They laugh at other people and speak of evil things. They are proud and make plans to oppress others. Hmm. Verse 9. They speak evil of Yahweh in heaven and give arrogant orders to men on earth. That's where we're at right now. That's where we're, we're going, going through right now. They speak evil of the heavenly father in heaven and give arrogant orders to men on earth or to take an M-O-T, uh, to take an M-A-R-K, that there is no power, that they should worship them as gods, that they should believe in science. Same thing Antiochus Epiphanes did or tried to do at least. Same thing that Nebuchadnezzar wanted to do when uh, everybody were, were to bow down to his statue. Same thing that uh, uh, Nimrod wanted to do by building that tower. We're all at that same point, but hey, men always stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And we're always awarded. And we're always protected. And we're always delivered. Reading on verse 10. So that even Yahweh's people turned to them. Man, the majority of our people have turned to this man. This is crazy. I'm reading this in the book. Let's read it right here in verse uh, verse 10. It says, therefore, his people returneth hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. Let's read verse 10 in the book. So that even Yahweh's people turn to them and eagerly believe whatever they say. <laughs> Can't tell me that this is not going on. They say, Yahweh will not know, verse 11. The Most High will not find out. Not knowing, that, hey, let's do uh, Naval Harari or whatever his name is. He's talking just like that. Ah, oh, the Lord doesn't know. He ain't going to find out when he's clearly setting you up the whole time. But see, having this truth really gives you an insight because not having this truth, you would be like our people. You would be lost. You would believe in what these people say. Their, their words are smoother than butter, yet... Where they drawn swords. Yet war was in their heart. They want to destroy our people. Okay. They don't want to do them good. Verse 12. That is what the wicked are like. They have plenty and are always getting more. It is for nothing then. That I have kept myself pure. That's what you would think. Right. I'm reading in the book here. It is not. It is for nothing then. That I have kept myself pure and I have not committed sin. But no, no, we're actually doing something good. It's going to pay off in the end. We have made ourselves a prey, yes, but the Lord is going to protect us. O power, verse 14. You have made me suffer all day long because the Lord is chastening us. He's dealing us, he's dealing, he's dealing with us as with sons. Every morning you have punished me because we are the Lord's children. It says, if I have said such things i would not be acting as one of your people i tried to think this problem through but it was too difficult for me until and we go verse 17 until i went into your temple then i understood what will happen to the wicked you see verse 18 you will put them in slippery places and make them fall to destruction. 
They are instantly destroyed, verse 19. They go down to a horrible end. It's as horrible as the end of the unrighteous generation in another place. They are like a dream, as we read in Job, they shall be chased away as a dream. It says, they are like a dream, verse 20, that goes away in the morning. When you rouse yourself, O oh Lord. When you rouse yourself, O oh Lord, they disappear. See that? It says, verse 21, when my thoughts were bitter and my feelings were hurt, hmm, I was as stupid as an animal. I did not understand you. So we didn't understand the Lord nor his plan. But now we do have in this eye south. Now having our eyes open, now having this truth revealed unto us, now having the mystery uh, uh, be plain, only given unto the initiated, not revealed unto ordinary mortals, as we read in another place. It says, yet I was, yet I always stay close to you, verse 23, and you hold me by the hand. You guide me, verse 24, with your instruction. And at the end, you will receive me with honor. Being a change in, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Lord is willing, we experience that. Having no man take our crown, we will see the Lord again. We will be changed. What else do I have in heaven but you? Since I have you, what else? Verse 25 says, what else do I have in heaven but you? Since I have you, what else could I want on earth? My mind, verse 26, and my body may grow weak. Hey, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Hey, we're going to have to go through that hour of temptation, our darkest hour. But Yahweh Bashimasha will be our guide. He will be with us. He will comfort us. As it tells you in another place, in that hour of temptation, since, since thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. It says, my mind and my body may grow weak, verse 26. But Yahweh is my strength. Yahweh Bashimashai. He is all I ever need. Verse 27. Those who abandon you will certainly perish. You will destroy those who are unfaithful to you. Those that get this MOTB, this M-A-R-K, will be destroyed because they shall be found to be unfaithful before the Lord. But we have this song as our pilgrimage is keeping us up and up is letting us know that this man yeah he has everything now but he's gonna lose it that he's gonna be uh he's gonna fly away as a dream the lord has set him in slippery places we went into the house of the lord and found out his end we know that the lord is gonna bless the righteous and destroy the wicked all through this song in the house of our pilgrimage verse 27 those who abandon you will certainly perish i'm reading in my book akia those of you that have tuned in, you will destroy those who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, how wonderful to be near Yahweh. That's verse 28. To find protection with the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai power and to proclaim all that he hath done. That's beautiful. That's a great honor to proclaim all that he hath done. And we're proclaiming all that he will do. So with that, A. I was willing this was an edifying lesson just read through the psalm real quick praising Yahweh Bashima Shai for his mighty acts his wonderful promises that he have given unto us and will present unto us as a crown because the Lord is going to crown us and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore so with that giving all praises glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashima Shai Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, a name given unto us, the Israelites, beginning with the men, and also given unto women and children to call upon the elect to be saved in these last troubling days, the name Yahweh and the name Yahweh Shai, to praise, honor, and exalt and glorify Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, which causes us to function and makes us to. Endure 
Much love, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect at House of David. To your brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. To you sisters doing that which is becoming of women, shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say shalom. Lord is willing. This has been edifying. Until the next time I say shalom.